Welcome to this video. In this video, I'll show you how you can register for TCS NQT 2023. The very first thing that you have to do is you have to Google and you have to search for TCS NQT 2023. You'll be able to see a link like this. The very first link will redirect you to the registration page which looks like this one. On this page, you can see the vital information given here like the registration status as of now, the end date of registration, test date and the interview date which is supposed to be announced post the results. Below this, you can find a lot of information which will clarify your doubts regarding the filling of this form. You can go through them before filling up the form just in case if you want to. I'm going to click on this register today button to proceed. On this page, I need to click on this register now button. I have to select IT as the category here. Now on this page, I have to provide my basic information and these informations are mostly not going to be changed later. So make sure you fill this correctly. So let me quickly fill this form for you and then we'll continue. You can see I have filled the forms now. I have given my name here, date of birth, gender, email ID, mobile number, institute name. All these informations right now mostly are dummy for demonstration purpose. In your case, you need to ensure you are filling up the forms with the correct details. Most of the Institute of India are listed here already. So the moment you will type the name of your institute, you will be able to see some suggestions. If it is not, then you can select others as the category. So let me show you how you can do that like this. Then you can select qualification, passing year and then the nearest TCS office. You can enter the password and confirm it and there is a policy so you can go through the requirement of the password and then accordingly you can set your password. There is a security question, answer to it and the captcha. Once these details are filled, you can click on submit. You can confirm these details. Okay, these are correct. So let me click on confirm. I can note down this reference for the later use. I'll click on continue. I'll enter the password here again. Then I'll click on submit. Once I'll click on submit, I can go to now the application form. I have to go through these instructions and then I have to confirm it. Most of the information which I have filled earlier, those will be automatically populated here. Those informations which are not that you can fill and you can continue. So let me quickly fill up this form. You can see I have filled up my permanent address and if my permanent address and present address is same, I can click on this yes button to make sure these are automatically filled here. If it is different, I can click on no and I can fill this separately. In my case, it is same. So I'll click on yes. I can provide my alternate mobile number and email ID here just in case if I want to. In my case, I don't want so I'll simply click on save and continue. Now I can see my personal details are filled and there is a tick mark here. Now I'll click on this highest qualification category details and if you look here there are instructions given. So go through these instructions. These are very vital for filling up the form. Now I'm going to this highest qualification category details. I'll select the name of the institute. Since I have selected others, I have an option to specify the name because the name of my institute was not listed. If I would have selected the name of my institute then and there, this would not have appeared. So let me say that this was XYZ Academy or university then I can go to graduate and here I need to enter the details of my graduation so course duration when I started when I ended whether it's a full-time part-time institute name this is specialization and everything so let me fill this form very quickly for you So I have filled up the details now. I started my course in 2019 in August and it is supposed to end it in 2023 of August. And this is the specialization that I have. The grading system is CGPA in my college. And this is what I obtained. And this is equivalent to 86% because 10 is the multiplication factor in my college. You can fill this form as per what you follow in your university or college. I can go to now this plus two grade. I have done plus two, so I'll select this. If I have done equivalent diploma, I can select this. If I have done diploma and plus two both, I can select this. 
So let me click on this one plus two, which is applicable to me. And my stream was science and the institute name was ABC College. The board of education was CBSC and the course duration is something that we have mentioned for plus two only, not for 11th, as you can see here, it's very categorically mentioned here. So I'm going to fill up that detail here now. The course was full time, so I'll select full time. If you have done this through NIOS, something like that, you can go through part time and you can continue. In my case, it is full time. I'll select the marking system as marks. And let us say I obtained uh, 650 marks out of 800. Then I'll go to the next one, X grade. And this is where I can enter the roll number, institute name. I have filled up these details now and you can see I have filled up my class 10 duration also just for one year and you have to ensure that your qualifications are not overlapping in terms of date. So all these dates I have filled they are not overlapping with each other that is how it's supposed to be. Then I'll go to the next category any other qualification I don't have so I'll select no if you have you can select yes and you can furnish those details here. I'm going with no only. I'll go to work experience. I don't have any work experience. If you have, you can select yes and you can fill the necessary details here. And please note, you do not need to include internship or training as, as a relevant work experience. So if those are there, you can ignore it very happily. In my case, I don't have work experience. So I'll click on no. Then I'll go to declaration. I'll go through this declaration and I'll select yes and no based on what is applicable to me. So I'm very quick, quickly going to go through the declaration and I'm going to mark the observation. So this the very first one is regarding the break in studies. I don't have so I'll select no even if you have you can select yes and you can mention the reason for the break. If it is a valid one it will not impact your test and the interview process. In my case there was no break so I'll select no. Have you done any other courses? Uh, you can select yes you can mention the detail here if you have done. In my case it is no so I'll select no. Do you have any pending backlogs currently? No. If you have, you can select yes and you can mark select the number of backlogs that are currently active in your account. In my case, it is no, so I'll select no. And this is the details of academic project. So mostly people do the project in the their last semester or somewhere around that. So if you if there is any such, you can mention that here. All the details related to my marks are correct to my knowledge. All these marks have been secured in very first attempt. Yes. The marks have been considered only for normal duration, yes. And I have completed all my courses within the stipulated time, so yes. You have declared break in your studies, of work experience and pending backlogs if there are any, yes. Whatever they are, I have already mentioned them correctly, so I'll select this yes. I have not attended any previous TCSL selection process in last six months, so I'll select yes. If you have done, you'll select no. Then I have gone through the TCSL eligibility criteria, so I'll select yes. Then I'll click on agree and then I'll click on save and continue. Once I'll do that, I come to this page. This is where I can select my nationality. If I know some language, I can add them here. It is always helpful. So I can select English as the language. I can speak, read, write. This is not my mother tongue though. If it is, you can check this also. I can add another language and I can add as many as I want. I'll select yes, yes. I can write also and this is my mother tongue so I'll mark this as yes. Similarly at the bottom you can add the language certifications you have any. If you don't have you can ignore this happily. The next one is achievement scholarship and certifications. So if you have if you have any achievements you can mention them here. This is the text box. Keep it precise. If you have done any certification you can click on this add new certification button here and you can select the name of the app certification. So only those certifications which are listed here you can add because these are for their use. The rest of them you cannot add because they are not in the drop down and you cannot add them manually. So in my case I don't have any of such certification so I'll simply delete that certification thing and I'll continue further. I'll go to upload fear photo and CV. This is where I'll put my name and this is the name which will be printed on my ID card if I get selected by TCS. So this is the name I want to print and this is my actual name also. I'll select the blood group. I'll upload my photo. I have uploaded my photograph and CV now. 
and now I can proceed for this by clicking on save and continue. This is where I need to declare regarding the security. So are you involved in any pending, closed or criminal civil case? Are you involved in any pending, closed criminal case proceedings charges? No. Are you involved in any pending, closed disciplinary or malpractices? No. So this, this you have to fill as per your uh, as per what is applicable to you only i can preview my form by clicking on this application form preview have you appeared for tcs test interview earlier if yes kindly furnish details so if you have appeared you can select yes and you can write the details if no you can keep this no as selected and you can continue i can go through these terms and conditions and then i can click on agree i can write the name of the place from where i'm filling up this form so I'm just going to write the name of the place and then I'll click on submit application form. Uh, there is one information that is missing though. Please enter percentage value with two digit after the decimal point for the graduate. So that is one thing missing. So I'll go to that part. This is my graduate and it should be let us say point. Let me make it 8.65. So this will become 86.50. Two decimal places I have to enter. Then I'll click on save and continue. I'll come to this page again. Now this is where you can see I have got an information that would you like to apply for TCS recruitment drive? Yes, I would like to apply. And this is where I need to select the test mode. In center means you have to visit a TCS certified center. Remote means you can write the test using your laptop or internet connection. If you have a good internet connection and laptop, you can certainly go with remote. If you do not have enough resources and you are not sure about their availability, you can always select in center. That depends upon your selection. I'm going with this in center thing and I can select the nearest TCS center. So let me select one. I think this is the one which is nearest to my place. So I'll select this and I can click OK. You can see there are a lot of TCS center which are available in this list. I'm going with the one where I want to appear. I'll click OK and then I can click on apply. And you can see you have applied for recruitment drive. That is the message I have got. If I'll go to my track my application, I can see I have applied for the drive. The status is applied for the drive on this date. Application received and candidate registration is registered. So all these details are visible now as per what I have done. And make sure your applied for drive is checked on. Otherwise, you will not be able to get email regarding the drives and all that. From here, you can download the application form PDF. You can download by clicking on this button. You can track your application and that's all. So that's all. That, that is how you fill up the form. All the best for this TCS NQT 2023. Thank you.